Senegalese foreign minister in Tehran. The Senegalese foreign minister, who is on an official visit to Tehran, has held talks with his Iranian counterpart, Mohammad Javad Zarif, on expansion of bilateral ties in all fields. The visit by the Senegalese foreign minister to Tehran comes as the two sides had no diplomatic relations from 2011 to 2013. According to officials, the two sides are expected to hold their first joint economic committee after resumption of ties in the near future. Speaking at the press conference, the two ministers voiced readiness to develop bilateral relations in all aspects. The Senegalese minister said that Dakar would reopen its embassy in Tehran as soon as its ambassador would be appointed. Before 2011, Tehran and Dakar had broad relations in all fields. Iran launched high-voltage power stations in Senegal. Iran's automaker Iran Khodro established an automaking factory which has good activities. Iranians are actively present at different Dakar exhibitions and indeed there are numerous opportunities for cooperation between Iran and Senegal. In view of being a member of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation and the Non-Aligned Movement, Senegal has great importance for Iran and the international community. We are happy that the two sides have resumed bilateral ties. Aside from economic and political commonalities, what brings Iran and Senegal closer is that they share similar viewpoints with regard to regional and international developments, like the crisis in Syria or the Palestinian issue. We believe the Syria crisis should be solved through political means. We support the Geneva II conference on Syria. We believe military solution does not work and cannot bring stability and democracy back to Syria. Meanwhile, we support Palestinians and their ideals. We also support both parties to return to the negotiation table. We believe that only the Syrian people can decide about the fate of Syria. This can be achieved through holding negotiations among Syrians who are interested in the future of that land and holding elections. In 2011, Iran's export to African countries, including Senegal, stood at some $3 billion and $900 million. Experts predict the prospect of 5% economic growth for the African continent. Therefore, abundant grounds for cooperation between Iran and Africa provide an opportunity for investors to experience an atmosphere of cooperation based on sincerity and mutual respect. Samanko Juri, Press TV, Tehran.